In this video, we add a bill of materials to the parts list view. Then we publish that view as a vector graphics file. We're going to use the parts list view that we created in the last video where the parts are already exploded. To add a bomb, click Workshops, Bomb. This adds two things. It adds a tab to our left pane where we can see the parts that will appear in the bomb, and it adds a new workshop into the task pane. To add the callouts, select all the parts in the viewport and click Create Callouts in the workshop. By default, they appear at the bottom and the top of the screen. With all the callouts still selected, change the Auto Alignment property to Parametric. Now the callouts all appear close to the parts that they identify. To display the bomb, click Show Hide Bomb Table in the workshop. Now we see the Bill of Materials. If your Bill of Materials appears in a different place or with a different size, you can select the bomb and change the placement properties, change it to Free, and then locate the bomb where you want. Now that we have the view the way that we want, we should update our view Choose the Parts List view and click Update View. Now let's publish a vector graphics file. On the Workshops tab, choose Technical Illustration. Notice the Task Pane changes to the Technical Illustration Task Pane. And now click Save As to publish the file. For file types, we have various vector graphics file types. We'll choose SVG and click Save. When it's done, here's a preview of what the file would look like inside Internet Explorer. Here is the SVG file in Internet Explorer. We have a vector graphics file. If you click on any callout, it highlights the callout, the actor, and the row. Or you can go over the various rows and they highlight. Notice this has a quantity of 2, so both pinions highlight in the viewport. That is vector graphics output with a parts list from 3D via Composer.